down well. You play as this guy on a bench who jumps down a well and, well, let's just say it doesn't go down well. The aim of the game is to make your way down a seemingly bottomless pit whilst avoiding enemies, stomping on their heads, and shooting them down using your special gun boots. If you're wondering what gun boots are, they're boots with guns attached to them. Unlike most other platformers, in this game you progress vertically downwards instead of horizontally across, which is why it has a bit more of a mobile game feel with the narrow screen. Well that and it's also a mobile game. Now I didn't know what to expect going into this thing, but I definitely did not expect it to be so unforgiving. There were four stages in Downwell, each split into three levels with their own unique enemy types, terrain and backing music. And it does not matter what stage you are on or what level you have reached within that stage, if you die in this game at any point, you will return to stage one, level one and start again. So naturally, my objective was to beat the game. I mean, it can't be that hard, right? You've got four stages with three levels per stage and each level taking roughly two minutes to complete. So you're telling me I can beat this whole thing in just 24 minutes? Well, no, that's... That's not what I'm saying at all. Right from stage one, I was being attacked by bubbles, frogs, turtles, floating eyeballs. I was being attacked by this thing. Anybody... Anybody know what that is? The absolute worst enemies though were the birds. These things will fly over to you all casual, then land on your head like BAH! Negative 1 HP. To be fair though, these things were all here first and I don't even remember anyone asking me to jump down the well in the first place, so... Maybe I should have stayed on the bench. As you make your way down each level, you'll come across these areas called time voids which freeze time once you enter them so you can get a breather from all the chaos going on around you. Some time voids lead to caves containing gems, health or ammo upgrades, whereas others lead to a shop where you can buy items using the gems you've collected. As well as this, after completing each level, you're given a selection of upgrades to choose from to help you as you progress further into the game. And you're gonna need it because this game does not ever let up. After a while of playing and getting very familiar with the game over screen, clearing the first stage eventually became <clears throat> light work. Clearing the second stage however, <laughs> now that's a whole other story. Stage 2 is set in the catacombs so now you're being attacked by ghosts, phantoms, skulls and worst of all, these damn birds, why are they still here? Not even the platforms are safe now, spikes, are you serious? That is so cliche. Now this was a particularly good run for me because not only had I made it further than I had ever made it so far being on the second level of stage 2, but I also managed to increase my max total HP using one of the upgrades. Which is why it hurts even more that I managed to lose all three of my remaining health points in a span of 6 seconds, putting me right back to the start of the game. I'm telling you, these birds are the worst! As time went on, it was looking less and less likely that I would achieve my objective of beating the game. I mean, I was now struggling struggling to make it past stage 1 again for some reason. Alright, let's go inside the shop. Can I afford anything? No? Okay, let's go. Who put these birds in the game? Who did it? I decided I needed a slightly more doable sub-objective, so I made my goal to simply reach stage 4, and considering that I had yet to even see stage 3, that would still be quite the challenge. After completing the first level for what was probably the 50th time, I selected the drone upgrade, and let me tell you, this drone right here? This was my boy! We were tearing through the levels like it was nobody's business. Level 2? No problem. Level 3? Piece of cake. Level 1 of the catacombs? Okay, okay, this one was pretty close. I finished with only one health point remaining, got to level 2 of the catacombs, and managed to find not one, but two health packs, before this asshole threw a freaking bone at me. But no worries, I still managed to make it to level 3 of stage 2, the furthest I had gotten so far. Alright, only one more level to go, and then we'll be in stage 3. Let's do this. You know what? I'll take it. This game was making me lose my mind. I'd been playing for an hour and a half at this point and had yet to see what the third stage was even called. You know what? Sub sub objective. Reach stage three. Let's just do that. Can I at least do that please? After a tragic series of non-stop failures, I finally had a run that looked promising. I had reached stage two, level two, with a full five health points. If I was ever going to reach stage three, this would be 
it. Now let me introduce you to the actual worst enemy I've encountered so far. Yes, even worse than the birds, the flying skull. Now these things are just like the birds, except if you shoot them before jumping on them, then they explode on impact. And just like that, I'm back to 2 HP. What kind of rubbish? Enter Catacombs 3. Only this level stood between me and the third stage. I couldn't afford any items, so unless I found a health pack somewhere, I was gonna have to do this with only 2 HP remaining. 20 seconds later, I hit a flying skull. 1 HP remaining. I enter a cave, find a health pack, 2 HP remaining. I leave the cave, get cornered by a phantom, 1 HP remaining. Things weren't looking too good, but luckily for me, the end of the level was near, and so I was just able to make it to stage 3. The sub sub objective had been completed, and what better an upgrade than to be reunited with my boy, the drone, as we tackled the next level. Stage 3 was a water stage, and there was now an oxygen timer as well as swimming turtles and jellyfish. Did I just get killed by seaweed? Oh hell no, I'm not doing this again. So that's Downwell, it's a great game with tight controls, appealing visuals and gameplay that is so frustratingly addictive you can easily sink a couple of hours into this thing at a time. So if you're looking for a cool little game to play that has a lot of challenge to it, I'd recommend you check this one out. Now if you'll excuse me, I've had enough mental anguish for one day, so I'm going home. Okay, it turns out I um I can't actually run out that way, so I'm just gonna quit out right here. Yeah.